and today's video is going to be a uni study tips and advice video just me telling you guys you know what I have done in uni to make it a better experience and my personal study tips what I've learned along the way mistakes I've made and I'm currently going into my third year out of a four year degree at uni. I'm doing a double degree in creative industries and business and I have two majors, marketing and fashion. So the first tip I have is to keep a journal. If you are coming straight out of high school and going into university, one thing that you're going to learn really quickly is that university is very, very different to high school in the sense that you don't have teachers on your back all the time. You don't have them telling you when assignments are due, making you hand in drafts. It can make you fall behind a lot and it'll come to three days before you have an assignment due and you might be like oh my god I have an assignment due in three days and I haven't even started which is something that I have definitely done in the past not gonna lie. So a way to stay on top of things and make sure that you're organized is to keep a journal and I have my one right here. This is by the company personalplanner.com and basically you get to make your very own planner and you get to customize the front, you get to customize the back because I'm a complete Arctic Monkeys fangirl. I made my journal cover an Arctic Monkey CD. Here's the front of the AM CD and here is the back. You get to personalize the inside of the planner as well. Change all the colors, you can change the color of the stripes. I've made mine so that it's like pink flowers up the top and then I've got I made it so I have a little to-do box and exams this week as well as training of the week because I'm trying to be more fit <laughs> It's not really working out to be honest. I've actually gone through my diary already and marked in all the dates that I have stuff due. That can help you stay really, really organized. Just having a planner and looking at it every single day to make sure that you're on top of all your assignments that are due and quizzes and exams and everything like that. And Personal Planner has actually been kind enough to me to give me an extra planner. Well, I don't actually have it. I have the code for you guys, well, for one of you guys. So like I do with my other giveaways, it's going to be helped through Gleam. So there will be a link that you press on where you can go and enter the giveaway and I will have all of the rules and stuff in the description bar as well and how you can enter. It's really simple. You just click on the link and then you just basically have to subscribe to this YouTube channel and then you can get extra entries like a bonus and if you follow me on Twitter, you get an entry. If you follow me on Instagram, you get an entry. I'm going to have all of that written down below. You guys can win a personal planner for yourself and you can personalize it however you like. You can give yourself a different different cover however you like. You could do the same thing as me. So tip number two is to always put study first. And I know that that kind of seems like an obvious one, but I feel like a lot of people make the mistake where they are like, oh, I'll do my assignment after I get home from having lunch with my friends. YouTube is a massive part of my life, obviously, but study does come before YouTube. I'm gonna go and do my homework before I film a video. So the next tip is to have a designated study area and to try and keep your study area clean. Me, I can't study unless my room is completely clean. I don't know if anyone else does that. I feel like if you have a clean room, then you have a clean mindset. Me, my study area, is that little desk behind me here. I also really love to study at uni, so if you feel like you're having problems studying, maybe going to uni for the day, even if you don't have uni that day, will motivate you to study. Next tip I have is for exams, and that is to make flashcards. So for example, for my marketing major, I made flashcards. So one of the questions might be, what are the four Ps of marketing? And then I think in my head, and then you turn it over and you either get it right or you get it wrong. And I guess it's just a really quick way of helping you remember the answers to things in your head. The next tip is also going to sound very, very I don't know, obvious, but it is to attend lectures and do your readings. I cannot stress this enough. Probably your tutors and your lecturers are going to say the same thing and then you're like, oh no, no one goes to lectures. Honestly, it helps so much and you will learn so much more. And even though you can watch the lectures online, well at my uni at least, I do find that I just absorb the information so much more when I'm actually sitting in the lecture theater. Next is for assignments and that is to engage with your tutors and to look at your criteria sheet very specifically. I don't know if other unis call it a criteria 
sheet me when I get an assignment I have like a criteria sheet and there's it goes from high distinction to um, a fail and like what you need to do to get a really good mark and I go through the criteria sheet and I highlight all of the really important key words and something that I actually do and I don't know if it's a little bit sneaky but I feel like it's worked before is that I take those highlighted words and I will actually put it into my assignment so if it says in the criteria sheet to thoroughly analyze something then when I do my assignment I'll write in this area I have thoroughly analyzed blah 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 and I don't know I feel like I feel like it's a bit sneaky and maybe you're tricking your tutors into thinking that you're doing something but yeah I just think it's a good tip and by talking to your tutors and asking them very specific questions you can get a better understanding of exactly what they want exactly what you need to do my SD card just filled up because I was talking so much now I can't remember what I was saying okay, I remember now and it is to look at the bigger picture or your bigger goal and what I mean by that is for example in high school my biggest goal I guess in grade 12 was to get the OP that I needed to get into the course that I wanted. I ended up getting into the course I wanted because I ended up getting the OP I wanted but say you're doing some stupid maths assignment or something and you're like why am I doing this? How is this gonna help me? How is this relative to my life? Whatever. You just got to think I've got to do this. I've got to get a good mark because because I want to be able to get a good OP and I want to be able to get in the into the university degree that I want. Just completely figuring out what your major goal is will help you a lot more when you're doing little assignments and help you actually study and stuff like that. Number eight is to do what you enjoy. Now for me, I I'm studying fashion, I'm doing business as well, but I'm studying fashion and a lot of times I'll, someone will be like, oh my god, what are you studying? And I'll be like, fashion, and they'll be like, oh. And anyone that gives me that response, I'm like, screw you, I love my degree, I love what I'm doing, and I'm gonna get a job in fashion, it's gonna happen. Yeah, no, I absolutely love going to uni because I love what I'm studying. I am so glad, and I don't want to single out any singular degree. It was the same for me in high school as well. I did fashion, art, music, violin, um, graphics, which is like architecture, easy maths and English, and I ended up getting a good result. And tip number nine is to not worry if you change your mind about your degree. I feel like there is so much stress put especially on high school students when you're in grade 12 to know what you're going to do. Even when you're in grade 10 I remember doing things. What are you going to do when you leave high school? There is so much pressure put on young people to know what they're going to do and I was so stressed in grade 12 going oh my god what's going to happen if I don't get into this course? What It's going to be the end of the world. I ended up getting into it but if I hadn't I probably would have been really really upset. But at the end of the day, a lot of people change their mind. For example, I'm one of the only people left in my friends group from high school who is still studying the same thing that I started studying at the beginning. A lot of my friends have changed or they've decided uni is not for them. But yeah, please just don't stress out because if you change your mind, you change your mind. Yeah. The next tip is to not leave things to the last minute. And I guess this kind of correlates with tip number one, to keep a diary and to make sure you have all your due dates and everything. But yeah, I cannot tell you the amount of times in first year where I sat up until four in the morning writing assignments because I had started them the night before. And then there's always going to be a difference in the quality of your work if you are writing it at three in the morning. But try as hard as you can to be motivated and to do your assignments as early as possible. And I guess some of the other tips that I've already mentioned, like thinking of your overall goal and stuff will help you to do this. Tip number 11 is to sit at the front in lectures and tutorials and I know that sounds really nerdy or whatever but it's honestly just going to make you stay more focused. If you're sitting at the front of a lecture and the lecturer is right in front of you right there, you're not gonna browse Facebook, go on your phone, you're probably gonna stay more engaged because you don't want the lecturer to think that you're not listening to them because they're literally right in front of you and same goes with your tutor. So 
yeah, it's kind of just a forced way of making you pay attention. Number 12 is to buy secondhand textbooks and to resell your textbooks because being a student, chances are you don't have a lot of money um, and textbooks are expensive, like they are ridiculously expensive and I didn't even know in first year that you could buy secondhand textbooks. My uni has actually a secondhand book store at the uni so you can go and sell textbooks there and you can buy textbooks from there as well. Probably a Facebook page for your uni where people sell textbooks and stuff so try and get onto that. Next tip for when you are studying is to keep your phone out of sight, out of mind and turn it off if you want to, don't turn it off if you want to. I switch my phone to night mode because it means that you won't get all of the notifications and your phone won't be buzzing and beeping and everything and it'll just keep you more concentrated. Tip number 14 is to make friends or have a study partner. Friends make things so much easier and I know it can be hard to sit in a lecture and turn to the ne person next to you and be like, hey, what's your name? Blah, 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 my name's this. I still struggle with it today, to be completely honest. It will make things so much easier to have somebody there who you can be like, hey, I'm struggling on this section of the assignment. What do you reckon? Or what did you do here? I wrote this. And I have a friend who I've known since high school who is actually doing the exact same degree as me. So we did our entire timetable together. So we have all our classes together and everything. And we have all our breaks together. And it has been so much better this semester than previous semesters because it motivates me so much more to go to uni and to study because she's there and I'm like, oh, I can't let her down. I've only got two tips to go, guys. I'm so sorry this is such a long video. But tip number 15 is to have a binder. So behind me, I'm actually gonna grab it. In my first year of uni, I would take my laptop to uni and I would just type notes that way. But since I've found that I am more inclined to take things in old fashioned way, which is on paper, guys, crazy, I know. I have this binder, I have all of my books in here for every single subject. So I have an A4 book for every subject. And then what I will do is I actually print off every week my lecture slides. I go to my lecture and I take notes on them and then I will staple them together and put them individually into these plastic sleeves. And it is so much more organized than what I was doing first year where I was just typing notes on random bits of paper and random documents. I actually have everything in this binder right here and it's really going to help me when it comes to exam week where I need to study and I can go back and I know where everything is going to be, where to find everything. And yeah, um, I mean, I guess it's just a general preference. If you do prefer studying on the computer, then that's completely fine with you. But for me, I find that physically writing things down makes me take so much more in. And then I just realized that my last tip was meant to be to print lecture slides, but I guess I just mentioned that then. That is the end of the video. Make sure that you check out Personal Planner. I will have a link to the giveaway I'm doing down below. They make some really awesome planners in different sizes, different shapes, and you really can customize them exactly to your preference. Yeah, good luck if you're going into your first year of uni or if you're not, if you're trying to become more organized or even if you're in high school, some of these tips might have helped you. I can do a separate high school video if you would like me to. Um, if you would like me to do a high school study tips video or a like high school experience type video, then I can definitely do that because there definitely are some things that I wish I knew when I was in high school. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.